Got all kinds of different vehicles here today. This is kind of the closest to the project we're working on with a little bike here with a solar panel on top. City neighborhood electric cars. Yeah. There's Dave. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Oh, so Electrified Porsche over there. Look at this thing. I think this is one of the original electric vehicles. Really? Maybe. Does the horn work? Don't try to. Ah, <laughs> oh, the horn's the best part, though. Charging. Oh, and they're working on the zebra, right? That's like a solar pickup. Oh, it actually has a panel on top. Oh, sweet. Okay, I take it back. This is one of the closer cars to what we're trying to do. So, fairly small, but panel up there. Of, enough room for two people, barely, and a little bit of cargo room. There's our engine. What kind of engine is do they have on these? Yeah. Motor. <laughs> it's even got a spare tire. That's pretty sweet. Electric truck. Oh, that's the one that I've seen driving around Mountain View. Wow. This is pretty cool. There's no seat belt, but it is solar powered. Nice. It's a pretty sweet looking bike. Electric motorsports. It's our friend from the tech shop. Definitely made get me got me to the point where I can machine all these parts. Yeah. Yeah, it'll whip you right off. Whoa. We have been practicing for a while. Yeah, he was doing like fish spins. Yeah, can't sell it. Can't sell it. It's the greatest. Court is officially a nerd. Do you turn it off? Yeah, just so that it's more. You can't put a smile on my face. I mean, that is poetry in motion. Are we still filming? Okay, Dave's turn. Is that okay? Yeah. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. No problem. What was your name again? Uh, Danny. Danny, uh oh. Uh oh. Nice. It's, it's like, <laughs> there goes his hat. You related to that guy? Uh, yeah, he's my friend. This is a pedestrian area. Oh. We're not related that way, but. Uh, <laughs> Apparently you're not a pedestrian, Dave. You have to get off of that in this area, says this guy. The pedestrian, I mean, the scooter's going... That's what we the first of many tickets that Dave will get. <laughs> ah. But it's an electric vehicle, and this is an electric vehicle show. There's the guy right there. I just graduated from Palo Alto High School. Works for the tech shop. Uh, built the Segway here, just out of, like, kit parts and stuff. Pretty sweet. Got this bad boy right here. Hey, how's it going, man? Pretty good, how are you? Not too bad. Did Tom ever come back? He didn't. Oh, we missed him, huh? He didn't. So where, where are you guys working out this whole project? Yeah, we have a couple locations. Uh, we're doing a lot of our fabrication and stuff at the tech shop. Um, so we're just kind of friends with those guys. and. Um, they have some really cool tools that we'll get to use to just make the truck even cooler and work on some of our other systems. So where did this whole idea come from? 
How did that start? Well, it evolved because trucks are one of the most popular vehicles in the United States. And yet, with gas prices being so high, uh, people have kind of backed off. And we think that there's this niche of people who want to be able to go off-road. There's our truck. But, you know, it's expensive. And it's like, how can we make that fun again? And, and what can we add to it? Because before, you could go a certain distance, but you had to have gas, you had gas tanks. What if you could draw energy from the environment as you're having fun in the environment? Yeah, especially because when you use these, you're out in that kind of environment, you're out in the sun too. Yeah, exactly. We actually, I have a video, you can see it if you want. Um, yeah, do you want me to go grab my computer? Here, yeah, you want to film a little bit? I'm interested. I'll be right back with my... You're filming. What am I filming here for? Oh. Oh, yeah. All the yeah. That's gas shocks, so you have like extra travel. It has 14 inches of travel all around. It's got new A-arms in the front. Um, so like when you drive it off, well you can see in the video that we use all 14 inches when we're How driving cool it around. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. And it's cool because it's so unique. Like every other truck, I mean look at they're all like the same sort of thing. You can't go off-roading on these things, yeah. even like the RAV4. <laughs> You know, like this is like a serious thing, and people spend a lot of money on these, and it makes sense because like they're out in the desert anyway.